What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, thank you for tuning in, my name is Seamus, welcome to tonight's album review. This time we've got the third studio album by Texas Metalcore Upstarts Invent Animate. This one is entitled Grayview, the follow up to their last album, 2016's Still World, an album that I had been recommended to by a friend, checked it out a little bit, liked it, picked it up at Warped Tour, it was a pretty decent album, didn't come back to it or revisit it a whole lot, but I do you know, appreciate what this band brings to the table, and I do think that they perform their, you know, their take on the more metalcore more standard metalcore sound better than some of their contemporaries again an album i didn't revisit with a lot of regularity but still an album i enjoyed when i did ever check it out and that well, that was their last album with lead vocalist ben english and insert his replacement marcus vick so it doesn't matter what what band you're tackling what artist and what genre it doesn't matter how popular they are or aren't whenever there's a, a change in vocalist you know the question is can the new can the replacement stand on the shoulder of their predecessor? Like we've seen it a lot. Like you know Matt Walsh with Three Days Grace, um, Flyleaf. Had, they've been on hiatus ever since their second lead singer Kristen May left the band. Um, you know Danny Warsnovel left Alice in Alexandria and then came back. So those those are just a few examples off the top of my head. And it's very hard to stand on the shoulder of you know your predecessor and um, you'll you'll be compared to that person and. You know, there'll be a lot of skepticism on w whether or not the band should continue, which I think can be unfair to artists a lot of times. So the question was, could uh, Marcus replace Ben, and could the band work with a new singer or a new vocalist? And, you know, of course, they're, they have to open up a new chapter of their career, one they probably weren't expecting to. But that's what they're tasked with, and the question is, do they pull it off? The answer is yes. So Dark is the five minute long opening track that hits an early crescendo, augmenting the keys and the synths on the intro with a fiery... A uh, mix of frenetic riffs, our introduction to Marcus on vocals. He's got a lot of arduous grit on his voice, very raspy, very throaty. Don't know if I'm using that word correctly. Compliments the band and their take on the more standard metalcore palette. Cloud Cascade, which is probably my favorite song on here, has a lot of blast beats and intricate chugging riffs. Some whine and screeches on their guitar riffs. And again, I don't know if I'm using the terminology correctly. I wouldn't say it adds shimmer, but it certainly adds a lot of depth to a lot of the soundscapes here. Marcus is a great singer. His cleans are solid. He doesn't sound whiny and <laughs> bitchy, for lack of a better word, like some of the band's more mainstream contemporaries. There's a strong mix of, of bass and drums complemented by some really mesmerizing guitar sections it's just a lot of fun to listen to reflection room has a lot more uh, more blast beats opens with a blistering assault of guitar chug which is perfectly fine you know when, when bands abuse it that could be kind of tedious but here it works it's not tedious at all marcus has great range both on the cleans and uncleans and the way he oscillates between the range on both accounts is really impressive you know he can hit some lows some highs some like shouts and yells that aren't really screams that you know don't don't take too much of a toll on his voice and he can just oscillate between the, those different ranges the highs and the lows of the mids in the mids in between he's just he goes between it all very well it's very he's a really great vocalist i think i prefer him to ben and he he, he fits with his band and he finds his niche within the band uh, very quickly um hollow light there's a slightly glossier edge skimming off the top here a kind of a different take on the more sacrosanct metalcore approach but the band hits a really nice stride here there's some tight curving melodies that are all abound here and then secret sun again marcus utilizes the shouts and the yells that are appropriately placed on the on the breakdowns towards the middle of the section of the song here it's another banger that just captivates you with the guitar crunch and the frenetic drumming and Marcus's unclean mids are just a tree. The band continues to file on all cylinders. Their knack for marrying a more a nominally more accessible and ex accessible and glossy edge to their core sound um, is really a sight to behold. And then Brightwing has some scintillating uh, melodies that back up Marcus's vocals on the outro. The song, which th this was something that I really enjoyed, it, like it gasps for air a couple times where like they'll pause and then bam kick work back in with the instrumentals on the outro and it's just harsh and it just bludgeons the listener and uh it's just it's really great having a lone uh haunting synth heavy segue into monarch which instantly explodes with a heavy mix of inertia the tight production complements the well-executed vocal takes and again the instrumentals just bludgeon you i don't know what else to say about it just it, it this just slams. To, again, I don't want to be too simplistic and reductionist with the terminology here and how I'm describing it, but if, if for nothing else, this album is just so fun. And then uh, Nova closes the album, probably the most upbeat instrumentally. Now, if you pay attention to these songs and listen to the whiny peaks and valleys in terms of the lyricism, you will find that there's a lot of crestfallen stuff here. And, you know, 
on Brightwing, for example, Marcus challenges, shine on me, dare to leave the night. And then on the closing track Nova, he sings over and over again, I'm drowning in the rain. You watch me drift away. And it's stuff like that that just, it. while the instrumentals are really upbeat, again, for lack of a better word, I guess it's a, a fine shorthand to describe the instrumentals, in terms of, and th that's how it comes off in terms of composition, but lyrically, it's, it just ends the album on a really somber note, it takes you introspectively to corners of your mind that maybe you weren't too comfortable visiting, uh, definitely it was a gut punch for me, um, didn't close the album on a sour note, because I fucking love every song on here, just to get that out of the way, um, but it was definitely one of those songs that was like, you know, I was just enjoying it just for the instrumental and just for a chance to jam out more than anything else. Because, I mean, there's nothing wrong with that. But when you actually pay attention to the lyrics, it's one of those things that will really take you to different corners of your mind that maybe you weren't expecting to. <laughs> like, I compared to, like, counterparts. Like, the, their songs are always a gut punch for me, and I love counterparts. So, overall, this album is just so goddamn fun. Um, whenever I do single out the lyricism, it definitely provides the kind of turmoil I would have expect, given this kind of harsh, tense, and agonized agonized take on metalcore in terms of some of the soundscapes here. Other times I just find myself nodding my head, enjoying the work here. I really have to get up to these guys. Even with the new vocalists having to embark on a new chapter in their career, they managed to lay the groundwork for a future that will hopefully see them stand on the shoulders of their predecessors, you know, and, the, and more of the pioneers of the genre. They do everything that works in the standard metalcore wheelhouse while adding their own tricks to the trade and working well as a unit. Again, not to be too reductionist, this album is just fucking fun. Definitely an album of the year contender for me. I'm going to give this, you know what, fuck it, a 5 out of 5. Every song on here was just awesome. I'm definitely going to revisit this, and I urge you all to check it out, too. That's all I have to say. If you enjoyed this album, let me know. Smack a like on the video if you did. Leave a comment. Subscribe. Hit the bell to get notified when I upload a new video. Until next time, take it easy.